Welcome back to 52 Lockup. I am your Apple Teeny Academy of Bitten Apple TV. 52 Lockup is a series I started talking about one of my biggest passions. True crime. A new episode on every Cat Maniac Monday for 52 Mondays, 52 Crimes. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like, leave some feedback, subscribe. Oh, if your discretion is advised, um, I would say so just because it's, uh, um, it's, a, it's an interesting case. Um, uh, but let's, uh, let's talk about Tesla, you know, <laughs> uh, for a second. So in case for those who may not actually know, Tesla is an American multinational artificial intelligent clean energy car. They are known for their designs and manufacturing like, you know, electric cars, battery energy storage from, you know, home grids to grid scale, solar panels and roof tiles. I mean, just tons of stuff. You probably also know Tesla from Twitter, but let's, <laughs> I digress. Uh, driving Tesla is a luxury car, but the technology behind it is incredible, right? Now, Tesla's are, Tesla cars are equipped with cameras at all angles, right? And sensors to provide like a full 360 degree view of the vehicle, not only for the driver, but for the vehicle as well. The cameras watch what the drivers do. They watch what others are doing. They want to know what's next to your car. Um, the car even has fun features like karaoke, which is exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's, it's either a lot of fun driving on a, on a, on a long trip or a parent's nightmare for karaoke in the car. But I mean, at least it's no longer 99 bottles of beer, right? So, um, but the car is equiped with an incredible, like a heap of fil a filtration system that prevents toxic chemicals from entering the car from bacteria to pollen and pollution. I mean, you know, stuff the poor folks like us die from. Um, so, um, and of course, there is a touchscreen where you can, you know, scan and control your music, you know, and uh, see what is around your car. Maybe put on some Netflix for your passengers or even set the mood with the fireplace on screen. It's really cute. Um, I mean, I, I could go on and on about the endless features of Tesla uh, that they provide and continues to add on top of it. However, when this incident happened, the first feature people thought about was the autopilot feature and its ability to stop you if something is in your in your path, right? To prevent accidents. The autopilot uh, feature enables the car to steer, accelerate, and brake automatically within uh, its lane. Uh, the feature is not to replace humans, but rather to assist us, right? I'm a big techie fan. Um, so January 2nd, 2023, right this year, my Apple news is pinging me. It's a car crash involving Tesla and Dr. Dharmesh A. Patel, a radiologist from Providence Holy Cross Medical Center in Mission Hills. And I'm like, what happened? So let's, let's talk about Dr. Patel. So he would meet his uh, future wife, actually, uh, Neha. Um, while they were students at the University of California, San Diego, you know, by May 3rd, 2008, they would actually tie the knot at the uh, Mitchell Katz Winery in Livermore. Uh, I mean, life was looking amazing for these two. I mean, he would graduate the following month from Wayne State University of Medicine um, in Detroit, Michigan in June of 2008. Darmesh would achieve the issuance of his medical license in California in April 2013. Two years later, they would welcome their first daughter in 2015 and a little baby brother to follow in 2018. He lives with his family in Pasadena, California. Um, and you're like, what does that have to do with uh, Tesla? Well, Dr. Patel would actually be driving his wife, uh, Neha, um, a teacher, you know, at the uh, Polytechnic School in Pasadena and his two children, ages seven and four, um, in Northern California at the Devil's Slide uh, along the Pacific Coast Highway south, okay, of the Tom Lantos Tunnels on State Highway 1, which is an area known for fatal car accidents. Witnesses will actually end up reporting seeing the Tesla Model Y sedan drive off of the cliff. No brake lights would be turned on. The family would actually plunge off of a cliff by 250 to about 300 feet around 10.50 a.m. I mean, what a morning. First responders, they rushed to their aid, with low expectations of survival rate, right? Being, you know, being like, uh, I don't know how they, but they realize the car, uh, there's someone alive, right? So it seems the car had been flipped over several times, right? Just over and over. And it finally lands on its wheels on the beach, right? Upon arrival to the scene, right? So the police are like checking out the scene and then they see in the front seat, there's a little bit of movement. They're like, oh 
shit, we got a person alive. That's at least that's who we explained it. Uh, Battalion uh, Chief for Coastside Fire Protection District, um, California Fire, Brian Pottinger, right? So firefighters had to cut the family out of the, the car's wreckage to retrieve their badly injured seven-year-old daughter, their bruised four-year-old son, and severely injured a uh, 41-year-old wife, as well as Dr. Patel himself, who took, took a beating for that fall. Um, I mean, as of right now, the daughter's conditions are still currently unknown, um, but her and her mother were probably injured the most uh, outside of the father. Now, the area that they were driving in is about 15 miles south of San Francisco. And like I said, the area is known for fatal car wrecks. So for the family to survive, I mean, the first responders were like, holy shit. Um, the family would be rushed over to Stanford Hospital. Now, the car crashes after driving off a cliff, right? Questions. It's a Tesla. People got to ask questions like, did the brakes fail? Were the brakes working? Were there any other mechanical malfunctions that would have led him not being able to stop the vehicle? District Attorney Steve Wagstaff would tell the Los Angeles Times. So... We're having the car looked at from top to bottom. Tesla, up until this point, hadn't made the news for something specifically like this, from what I had seen. Um, people questioned if the car was maybe on autopilot, right? You know, or perhaps did it did it actually mechanically fail? Is this Tesla's fault? I mean, sure, I'm sure people love to ask them tons of questions on Twitter, but the, the truth is, Tesla does have an emergency call that activates automatically if airbags are deployed or a severe collision is detected. So where did we go wrong? All right, hold on. We got to backtrack. We got to backtrack. What happened? However, upon arrival with paramedics, it was reported later that Dr. Patel's wife, Neha, uh, stated he tried to kill us. The husband? Meaning he drove intentionally off the cliff? Now, investigations are still opening up because they're trying to deal with Tesla's camera records because they record everything, right? So there were no signs in the car or outside that show they attempted to break, no skid marks. Eventually concluded that, we have concluded that the evidence supports the fact that he intentionally drove his vehicle over the cliff and thereby obviously endangering not just his wife and two children, but his own life, stated by District Attorney Steve Wagstaff. Now, they are not jumping on the bandwagon and you know the district attorney stated you know that investigators are also examining the tesla model y sedan to rule out the possibility of a mechanical problem i mean tesla footage is legally admissible uh evidence to show in the courtroom right it can actually show what happened in an accident right what who's at fault what happened so alongside with this investigation prosecutors would also secure video from a tunnel just before the crash site that shows Patel driving and then making a sharp right turn over the cliff, according to the district attorney. Prosecutors addressed that two witnesses in cars who were driving behind Patel, minding their business, um, saw that the car did not attempt to break. It just sharp turn over the cliff. That was it. Now the wife, Neha, uh, has not been interviewed yet. Um, by the prosecutors, but whether with or without her testimony, prosecutors are stating that they have a very strong case against Dr. Patel. Prosecutors were interested in interviewing their seven-year-old daughter, but the family obviously declined access to their daughter for interviews, either for her physical health or her mental health or both. Dr. Darmesh A. Patel um, would actually be released from the hospital and as soon as he was released, and they're like, all right, he's patched up and doing better, they booked him. Just right out the hospital. They're like, oh, great, you're so glad. I'm so glad you're This way. Um, he would be booked without bail and charged with three counts of attempted murder. Two of those counts uh, have domestic violence and grave bodily harm enhancements, according to ABC7 uh, Sister Station in San Francisco, which is KGO TV. Um, he is currently residing at McGuire Correctional Facility on those attempted murder charges and child abuse charges. What the fuck happened, Patel? I, I mean, even a neighbor of the Patel family, right, from their cul-de-sac uh, neighborhood, they stated and described them as, they were a beautiful, idyllic family, no indications of issues, said Roger Newmark. Um, a neighbor who's lived on the block for like more than 40 years, to him, it's so strange because he is a great guy. Hmm. 
just as a side note, authorities are asking additional witnesses to come forward and to call um, in to 415-557-1094 if you have any additional information. Um, but in the meantime, if he is convicted on all charges or with the special circumstances, uh, Patel could be sentenced to a maximum of life in prison. Um, he's actually due back in court on February 9th and is expected to enter a plea, at least according to the district attorney. I have so many questions. Um, I was digging and digging because I needed to know, bro, what happened? I mean, was this planned? Did he take them out that morning knowing at 10.50 ish she's going to be like, oh, we're right there. You're like, you know what I mean? Like, was this planned ahead of time? Were they having a fight and he decided that this was the best course of action? Like, this is a solution to our problem. Um, I wish I can get a hold of that Tesla footage because I would just love to sit there and watch and find out what happened. Like, I and I want you to speculate with me. Um, <laughs> I mean, could you imagine falling 250, 300 feet off of a cliff? What if, if it wasn't a Tesla car? What if it was something else? I mean, that area is known for fatal, uh, fatal wrecks, right? What if it was a different car? Would they have survived? Is Tesla that well built that people in, uh, inside actually would have a higher chance of surviving? I mean, because that car is heavy. That is a heavy, heavy car. So gravity was just going to... The energy's got to go somewhere. Um, and it's... It's... That's intense. And those poor kids, just, you know, sitting in the back, you know, listening to mommy and daddy, and then dad decides to just drive the car off of a cliff, like it's the good old days, like, you know, this will solve the problem. And it makes me wonder, like, how many people have done those things and not gotten caught with it because everyone died in the car crash, maybe because the car didn't uh, work as well, whatever, whatever the case may be. That is intense. I am glad, though, that we have, like, the technology to sit there. I mean, for those who can afford it. Um, and find out what happened to the car. Like, what happened? What was going on inside? And I, I wonder if they weren't driving a Tesla and they didn't have that proof. Would anyone have noticed that they went off the cliff? You know what I mean? Um, would anyone know where to go? to go rescue them whatsoever. Um, I mean, that's got to be a scary, scary moment. It's almost like that, I could, at least what I'm picturing it to be, right? It would probably be like that fear when you're on a roller coaster and right before you drop. The only difference is at the end of that thought, you know that you may not actually survive. You would probably just assume you're going to die. And then the worst are, chances, you get your kids in the back and you're like, Patel, what the fuck were you thinking? Bro, you're a doctor. Like, like, come on. What are you doing? Um, I want to know what you guys think of this case. Uh, I want to know what you think of Tesla, if they should add any additional features. Um, do you think there's something you... you, you uh, I don't know. I don't even know what questions to ask, to be honest with you. Because I, I, I saw the, the case and I was like, oh man, that's, that's insane. Drove off the cliff. And my first thought when I originally saw the case before I realized there were murder charges, I uh, immediately called up anyone who had, like, I know who has a Tesla. And I'm like, yo, what's up with this? I got questions about your car. Um, but what I wanted, to, what, I, what I expected was that it wouldn't occur. But I... When you're in the car and someone like steps on a front, it really does just abruptly stop, right? Because it's trying to cut down on accidents. But technically, there was nothing. There was nothing in front to stop the car, literally. So is that a feature that Tesla's gonna have to add now, like recognizing if there's a cliff and preventing the car from driving over? I mean, I've I got so many questions. <laughs> Because I'm just like, how, 
How could this have been prevented? I want to know more about what was going on at work. I want to know what was going on with their relationship. I want to know what made, what were the, the steps that happened that brought him to this decision to go, you know what? I'm going to kill me, my family. I'm going to just drive us off a cliff. Love you, babes. You know what I mean? And then just like, how, how did we get here? How did he conclude that that was the best course of action? I mean, I'm glad they arrested him, like, right after the hospital visit. You know, like, okay, you're better. Oh, my God. <laughs> Book him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm glad, you know, it, it went down like that. But still, it's it's a little maddening. Um, but, yeah, I would love to hear your, your feedback, your thoughts on this particular case. How do you think this is going to end? Do you think he is actually going to be convicted? Do you think the district attorney is, like, being too cocky about it, like, too arrogant? Um, I mean, Tesla's footage, it's not like I can get a hold of it. Unless Tesla. No. All right, whatever. Um, but uh, how do you think this case is going to end up? Do you really think he's... He's going to get convicted. Do you think they have enough evidence to show he got mad? You know, I is there, you think they're going to have like, I don't know, an argument of like, and he's like, fuck this, I'm killing everyone. And like, just turns the car. Um, because if there were problems at home, it seemed like there were no indications of it. And everyone's just more or less like, he did what? Like everyone seems to be completely surprised. I want to know. I, wa I want to know so much. I want to know. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please be sure to, again, like, feedback in that comment section. I want to hear what you think about this case. And, of course, as always, subscribe. Um, if there are any cases you would like me to cover, just let me know. Um, and, yeah. Tesla, man. Tesla. <sighs> thank you so much.